So, so far we've discussed the why nanoparticle size, shape, charge are important in our design. But what we haven't covered yet is what the coatings can do. And coatings are very important for our nanoparticles as they are often a ligand, which is a molecule of iron, which we can decorate the outside of our nanoparticles with. So it should be noted that when we do add ligands to the outside of our particles, it can change the hydrodynamic size. So that's the size of our nanoparticle when in water. So that's slightly different to the solid nanoparticle size. Dynamic light scattering is a method where you can measure the light scattering of this hydrodynamic size, but it may not be the actual true size of our nanoparticle in terms of the core. And also adding ligands to the outside of our particles could affect the shape and make our particles more spherical. So these are very important that we understand and study the effect of adding coatings to our particles. And finally, of course, adding anything to our particles will affect the charge. And as we discussed in the previous video, a highly positive charge means that it will be uptaken into a cell, whereas a negatively charged particle will likely evade being taken up by our cells in our body. So why do we use coatings? So unlike charge, we can tailor our nanoparticles to a particular cell type using coatings. And this again comes down to the ligands. We can use specific ligands to specific receptors on our cell surface. And that can mediate the uptake and that's a very selective process. Also, ligands can aid us in avoiding the immune system. So as we mentioned before with charge, a negatively charged particle will avoid uptake into our cells. With coatings, we can use select polymers to do that. One example is polyethyl glycol, PEG, although PEG has shown to create an anti-PEG immune response, so maybe not perfect. Also, ligands can help cell attachment, so that could just be having ligands that help us stick to cells more for labelling and diagnostic applications. And finally, we can use uh, the, cell, the physical cell membranes of the cells we're trying to target. So recent studies have shown that we can replicate a cancer cell, remove all the insides of that cell, and then stick our nanoparticles inside that. And that way we can get really precise targeting to a cancer cell without having to synthesize particular binding proteins and the membranes and working on that affinity to a particular cell type because we've already got that. We've already got the building block for that. So with coatings, it may sound like we just want to pack as many coatings onto the surface and make it as dense as possible. However, studies have shown that it's actually a fairly difficult balancing act. As too little, we will get no uptake into our cells and it will be non-selective. And too much can actually create a non-competitive behaviour with the receptors on the target cell, which means that even though we have the correct ligands on the surface for that receptor, there's too many and that means that the receptor doesn't work and it doesn't help us uptake into the cells. So hopefully this gives you a very brief overview of why nanoparticle coatings are so important. If you like this, please like, subscribe the video and leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching and see you next time.